this is courtesy of mix mag featuring origins another really good um roving uh club promoter contingent collective group um who'd put on some really good nights across the uk not just in london and they are celebrating their 10 year anniversary soon with a stretch of shows which i'm really excited to check out because you have mixed maggots says here the says 225 shows on from its launch jesus christ 225 shows in 10 years is nuts the party is hosting a series of events celebrates landmark um there's 12 nights in the day diary uh, taking place at current homes in moles comedia plus night tales night tales loft village underground cortico studios fold and the pickle factory imagine being a roving group of promoters and you have some excellent communication relationships with all these great clubs do you know what I mean that's really really cool man i don't know anything about moles or comedia i'm guessing those are the ones outside of london but i'm familiar with every single one of these ones that i've actually been to stretching from november 12th um, through to December 17th those announced so far play including Rod Dogs Rubenstein of course who I actually saw at an Origins night in Mixed Garage I think back in the day Dan Shake is playing um, Angel Delight Octa Octa and Sally C Origins is still yet to announce future further artists sorry who will be playing which venue on which date but have revealed that their debut party to celebrate the part of the birthday will take place on Night Tales Loft on November 12th you don't be an actual flex I know they always do this anyway, but imagine if, they, if you know, Origins did their opening night to celebrate their birthday, and it just had it be no, no, no guest, no lineup, just come. If, if you, if you're a fan, or if you like what we do and you've seen it online and you trust us, just come, and I promise you we'll deliver you a good night and still book the people you want to book, but just don't tell any people. That'd be pretty sick if they did that as an opening night thing. But I guess you know, the amount of money these guys put into nights and stuff, especially hiring these spaces, is probably not the best thing. So. I can understand that. So continue to your origin still yet to announce that all shows in typical origin style will be curated and played by those closely involved in a long running party with its crew thanking partners for its lengthy success over the years. Um all right, this is the okay, this is the thing. The caption here, which let's actually play a little bit of clip here that, that they have on Instagram, see what this is saying. <laughs> Okay, some corporate music. Let's continue that. Oh, that's the one, right? Press, but yeah, let's continue. Um, the caption says as follows What a better way to celebrate a man of stretch of shows than Origins Way? Sign up for a chance to win. Obviously, you're going to do that if you want to on the Instagram. But the main caption says as follows um, 10 shows, t sorry, 10 years on, 225 shows later. This autumn, we celebrate 12 parties, maybe more, over five weeks in two cities. Staying true to what we love in the venues that we love. Thank, um, huge thank to everybody who's made this series possible from the artists to the venues to the agencies and everybody who's got uh, who got us to who got us this unbelievable landmark there's no finishing line just the next dance and i just love that i think they've got it actually here on the background of their um ra promoters page right there's no finishing line just a, just there's no finishing line just the next dance some things there but yeah they've done some crazy good events back in the past that i've been to um they've done some oh okay they've done some collaborations with junction i didn't really know that too tough the last few parties I went to from them, again, like I said, Dr. Rubenstein and what's his name? Uh, Roy Perez at Mixed Garage was a real standout. Um, what else I can see on here that I've been to recently? Da, 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 da. Let's see here, Midland. No, I didn't go to the Midland one in Fold. Maybe I did actually. Did I go to that? I'm not really too sure. I think I might have gone to that. I'm not really too sure. Maybe I bought tickets and I didn't actually check it out. I'm not really too sure on that one. But there's, yeah, there's some decent nights here that I've been to in the past with Oranges. Like I said, I trust them wholeheartedly. Um, so for sure, I would be interested to see if they would ever do something like that in that kind of party. Just do the first party, no lineup. Do you trust us, yeah or nay? And then see what I'll go on from there. But again, like I said, you know, they spend too much money booking these great artists to come to all the way to London or all the way to the UK to play. You know, you can't really be risking having them have played no lineup. And I'm guessing some promos also are quite stupid picky about that kind of thing anyway and they're gonna only allow certain people to do that sort of stuff and maybe if you're up and coming in person i don't really know you know what i mean like some people are like that when it comes to sort of things but hopefully it's a bit different 